our officials for this match. First referee, Mr. Erlindo Eusebio, national referee. Second referee, Mr. Herbert Matematico, ABC international referee. Let's call on our starting lineup from our F2 Logistics Cargo Movers. Let's begin with our team captain. She wears jersey number two, Abigail Marano. At number one, Marion Angelique Alba. Wearing jersey number three, Ivy Keith Laxina. At number eight, Julina De La Cruz. In jersey number 10, Mary Joy Baron. And at number 13, Kim Kiana D. Starting libero is number 5, Don Nicole Makandili Katindi. Head coach, Miss Regine Diego. Calling on our signal, HD Spikers. Team captain wears jersey number three, Rachel Ann Dakis. At number two, Rosalind Doria. Wearing jersey number seven, Frances Cinia Molina. At number eight, Jovelin Gonzaga. Wearing jersey number 18, Marivic Belaine Meneses. And at number 22, Maria Angelica Cayuna. Starting libero is number 21, Angela Nuna. Head coach, Mr. Cesael Shaq Los Santos. This match is under the supervision and regulation of the Games and Amusement Board. Here are your starters. Start a new way to watch the PVL via the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos a month. Starters for F2 on your screens. And uh, Ivy Laxina, Julina De La Cruz, Mars Alba, and uh, the return of Majoy Baron there in the middle in the last couple of games. And of course, the starting lineup, the juiced up starting lineup with, of course, uh, Jobs Gonzaga and Jella Nunai, which, uh, Nuna, rather, which is also, you know, I love my conversation with uh, Rose Doria and Jackie Acuna prior to the start of the season. And they said, hindi sila nadagdagan lang ng players, nadagdagan sila ng leaders. Which is really true when you talk about Jella, uh, Jella Nuna and, and Jones Gonzaga. It's not just the playing skill. Na dinadala nila dito sa signal. You know, I think uh, in terms of leadership, in yung pinag-uusapan, leadership and experience, definitely these players have a lot to bring. As F2 wins that first point, we did talk about D earlier in the pregame, talking about how she has delivered for F2. Power tip to start off festivities here in this. Third game of our triple header on a Saturday before we take this break here in the BVL. Luna. Jones has to ad lib. Alba, Dikit. And an error. Referees Erlindo Eusebio and Herbert Matematico. We expect such a good match from both these teams. Definitely com both coming from wins. They are uh, both with momentum, a lot of confidence. Malaking bagay yung makatuzero ka kagad sa ganitong torneo natin na napakaikli at napakabilis. In the meantime, Signal takes over the lead. Let's quickly check in with Kyla Kingsu right now. Kyla? Leading the charge for their cargo movers on their opening game. The team's POG, Ivy Laxina, has clearly embraced the challenge given to her by Coach Jean Diego. Now, although it was a fairly quick win over Farm Fresh at the IV share with me, that the pressure to excel in her new position of an open spiker never really goes away. In fact, she humbly admitted that her doubts still sometimes keep her up at night, but Coach Reg has constantly been there to boost her confidence. Now,
Now, she also shared that before coming to the venue today, Coach Reg even sent her a thoughtful text message saying, I believe in you, Ivy. Now, let's go back to enjoying this match, which you can experience better through the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. Now, back to you, Luminan. Thank you, Kyla. You know, it really shouldn't be a surprise for those who know Ivy and has followed her even in high school, she was, you know, a wing spiker. She idolized Ara Galang growing up. But then, nataga Angeles din, pareho mm -hmm. silang pubinsya. So, a wing spiker din ang kanyang inidolo dati. So, really no surprise there, but there are some added responsibilities that comes with that position. But we'll talk about that later. First, check ball yata ang itatawag dito. Last touch for single. So, three all. We expect this to be a a doozy of a match and a look at both teams really very aggressive here in terms of offense with you know just some errors to start no, on the side of uh, f2 coming from a championship you start right away uh, here with f2 well, what a what a transition for jelena and mars yes the tip the push alba will open up to Ivy, still alive. Back to Ivy on top of the block, and it's out. I was saying, and as there is a ball in, ball out challenge here, that is close. I thought it was close. There are additional responsibilities from a middle blocker when you go into an outside spiker, correct? Definitely. We always talk about how outside uh, hitters would get a lot of the sets, definitely, mm -hmm. right? But uh, on top of that, you don't get to choose. You okay. don't get to choose, uh, you know, what sets are delivered to you. Ito yung uh, usually you would have to adjust. Tapos receive ka pa. Tapos receive ka pa. Yeah. Defense. And we did mention that at the start of the game. So it's actually an all-around game that is what is expected from uh, from Laxina in this uh, particular position. As we look I at... I thought it was close, yeah. That it was line in. ball. Yeah. They win at that point. First challenge, successful for F2. So, Laxina gets the point. Coach Reg. Coach Reg looks like it's Saturday. Yes. <laughs> Remind me of this. Yes, it is Saturday. We are enjoying our work, of course, watching this exciting game. I love it. I love looking the part. Yes. The push, chance here for F2. They open up again to Ivy. Luna. Gel. Jones will overcook that one. 5 3. She wasn't in the best position to hit that ball, but. Ooh, I just realized I, the setter matchup also a pretty good one. A new champion finals MVP for F2 coming into the pros. And then you have a former national team player, Jel Kayuna, who in her comeback. To Shaq has really found herself here in the PBL. Now blocking also working here for F2. Four touches. So this is a 3-0 run, if I'm not mistaken. Check that. 4-0 run for F2. 6-3. You see the veterans on the side of uh, Signal really calming down, you know. No pressure. That's how you know. No doubt about that this time. And the crowd today here at the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center as we witness PLDT win in three sets versus Akari. And then Choco Mucho, two in a row for them against Photon today. CC Rondina, the second player of the game. Like I said on social media, it's like riding a bike for her, coming into indoor and back to normal. In the meantime, Sarano! here on the side of Signal and this time utilizing their blocking. Look at Doria. Excellent timing against Laxina. Yep. Some NU alumni. Alba, the slide, the dive. The hop by Dakis. Oh, what a slide by Dawn. Ideas check. They go back to Laxina. Right behind was Rach. 
Exchange here at the net. KKD. Lunek was there for the dive. Alba running. Oh, that is out. You know, I credit that point to Lunak for saving that ball. That was an excellent save. Coach Reg was almost ready to challenge that, and she was looking at the, her coaches. But obviously, pag tumuloy na yung play, hindi mo na pwedeng i-challenge yan. You have to challenge right away. Look at the Signal work their way up to tie it with F2. 3-0 run, and over receive. But a chance to set here for F2. Another slide attack. And a conversion this time by Abby Marano. You know, she went for a cross-court angle earlier, changed it up this time, going for that down-the-line attack, and she nails it. No defense right there at the corner. Over the head of Jela Inunak. 7-6, F2. Over Doug. Dakis over the blockers. Ivy goes long. Jones asking for it. Rolls it to the other side. Alba will open up to Ivy. Dug up by Sess. Hop. Sent back. Long exchanges here early in the first set. Mars. Over. Oh. They'll allow it. Kayuna. Doria. Oh. <laughs> what an exchange! What a highlight! One of the longest rallies we've seen. Great defense for both teams. Look at the save on the side of F2. And everybody was involved, and Look at that last attempt by Doria. Really smart, aiming for the hands of the blockers. Rose Doria told me that the pain of last conference ending up at six is a big motivation this year for them. Seven all. Ivy again. Gets it this time and they get to the technical timeout first. Bingo Plus, the first live streaming bingo in the Philippines. It is the BVL on the Filipinas Live app. Live and exclusive, also on One Sports and One Sports Plus. And what a start for this match as the members of uh, Akari who, uh, earlier dropped their match against uh, PLDT, of course. Some FEU players like uh, Ebon, there are a lot in the Signal team. That's not good enough against the wall of F2. That is such a long front line. Laxina, Majoy, and KKD. I believe that is the goal wow. of Coach Reg to really have a um, wall right there at the net. 9-7 is the score. Nunag again. Gone. Back to KKD with power this time. Three points for Kiana. Look at this attempt. Rachel unable to press on that block. It's the biggest lead right now for F2 at 10-7. Trying to get that point right away. 
Si Peter was siya in the last uh, nung opening day, sabi ko, he looked like a rookie again. <laughs> Nakakabata na yung haircut. No? But we've always uh, seen her actually with long hair, especially in her collegiate years. Ooh. A lot of muscle behind that. What's been good so far for both these teams, though, the defense that we've seen, nakita natin in the long rally earlier. Luna doing an excellent job there in the back row for Signal. Oh, miscommunication there. KKD again! Four points for her, four points is the lead. And Coach Shaq most likely will call the timeout buzzer here. Simula maganda, gawa tayo ng play. Tapos pag nakuha nila, ready tayo sa defense. Ah, block defense. Okay, block. Malayo pa yan, malayo pa yan. Umpos mong ulit. Kailangan ibalik lang natin kung paano tayo nagunda. Okay? Sige, sige. Mga bakla ka lang. Mga bakla ka lang. Mga bakla ka lang. Mga bakla ka lang. Four-point lead. What is F2 doing better here, And I think, you know, for both teams, again, doing well, but the offense of F2 and the way they're very steady. Hindi mo napapansin, you know, pumupuntos and pumupuntos, they go for every attempt. And I think you did just recently mention uh, Kim D doing a great job there at the net. Scoring nine, uh, four points already today, nine points, as we mentioned in the pregame, in their previous win. Of course, uh, they were the ones who welcomed the Farm Fresh Foxies into the PVL. Now, it's Signal HD. That's out. They think there was a touch. Coach Shaq, I think, will challenge. Believes that there was a touch there on the Rachel Dakis swing. Second challenge here. 12-8 is our score on the third game of our triple header. On a Saturday, for those who don't know, we're taking a break after this to give way to the Volleyball Nations League. They get to recalibrate and uh, we come back right after that on the 11th, if I'm not mistaken, of July. And that's also one of the reasons why you really want to get two-game winning run right away before that break. If you're F2, like Chokomucho did earlier. Oh, this time, way looking up. at, yeah, it's way up. No touch on the block. So that will be 13-8. Now the biggest lead, definitely, for F2. Coming from a third-place finish, their best finish in the PVL. Ooh, sailing out. Iced probably by that challenge. <laughs> Dakis gets us going for this rally. One hand set. Nick oh. AKD for her fifth point of the match. Alba just trying to deliver. On that set, take a look at that. It's too close to the net. The one-hand set there for Kim D, who just put the right amount of power on that ball to land in the middle. Nakita niya, no defense on the side of Signal. Very Kim Fajardo-like. That one-hand uh, <laughs> set. Jones! <laughs> Making a statement! Looking to wake up her team! You know, this is the kind of leadership that they have mentioned. At times when you need to bring those points in, Ooh, look, look at, at that. that. Detonating for their 10th point. That should wake them up. And a chance on a free ball. Panic HOV! Kept on in Dignity Bars. Good reaction by Gonzaga. Molina pushes it to the other side. Alba opens. They'll allow it. Mars 
in the middle. Oh. I like that change, change up in play. If you, coming from a high set, this last attempt setting up to Kim D, the quick set. Mars has been spectacular in this last game and today. Parang hindi... A rookie ba siya? Parang hindi pa. <laughs> diba? Parang hindi siya yung rapid sa transition niya. And I'm sure playing with Ates and, you know, the familiar system obviously works in our favor. 15-10. Dug up. Luna goes to Jones. Sergeant to Sergeant. Blocked. Oh, good reaction. Rainbow. Gel. Combination. Molina adjusts. Oh, what defense by F2 and... Oh! De La Cruz. from f uh, defense. Both teams actually right, doing very yes, well. Yes. That's why our rallies are long. Yes. But uh, De La Cruz quite disappointed with that last one. Good serve. Back to Jones. Return to center. Gloria has been doing a great job at the net. Speaking of cap, she will come in right now, double sub. KKD moves out, Mars Alba moves out. Joey Fernandez comes in for Mars, and it is Kaf who comes in for KKD. Oh, I remember Fernandez when I asked her who she, who was she looking for to going up against, she said Signal. She actually singled out Signal. She's up for that challenge. Yes, but oh. she wants to impress her at this. So C is there, John Cayuna is there, Rachel Agdafi is of course, Malapanan, mga nandiyan. Basas is also there, Kasuga, diba? all of these uh, FEU players. In the meantime, it is F2 ahead by three. Parating na ang FIBA World Cup 2023 sa Signal Pay-Per-View. Mag-avail ng uh, early bird offer sa alagang 550 pesos until July 15 para mapanood ang lahat ng games commercial-free and in high definition. At pwede pang manalo ng authentic gilas Filipinas merchandise. 1613 uh, in the middle there is, of course, Michelle Olaso. Vice President for Channels and Content for Signal TV, which, by the way, is celebrating their 10th anniversary this year, which is also what Rose Doria told me is their motivation. They want to do well on their 10th anniversary, and they want the pain of the All-Filipino Conference to be wiped away, where they finished sixth. Dahil gaganda nung momentum nila before All-Filipino. So they're here with a mission. That, I think that was a telegraph play. And they saw that, F2 saw that developing. And uh, of course, an advantage also. Look at Laxina and Maranio. Get a good read on that yeah. one. Speaking of FEU Ates, Chinbasas, self see now coming in. All under the tutelage, of course, of Coach Shaq. 17-13. Luna. C. Sass. Done! How many saves have we had here on both sides? Basas. Fargo opens up. Rebound. Oh, nobody 
Kennedy taking the first ball, the rebound. Nina got her way, but you know what, just a little bit late. And the biggest lead is back at five. Masyado daw silang tense and they look a little bit tight. At this point, uh, you see the veterans so calming after that huddle, trying to calm each other. Meantime, that's Coach Bok talking to Calf. Jones will serve. Maranyo, Fernandez, Laxina, front line for F2. They'll be on defense. That's a great oh. spawn by Sess. Excellent target by Molina. Her, her approach was so aggressive, that's why you thought she was really going to swing. And you also see that elevation in hand time that allowed her to drop, you know, the ball right there. She looks healthy too, and remember she's had some ankle problems in the past. Now in great shape, but Laxina. Dug up. Oh! Ooh. Setting error on the former UAP best setter. Kagaling na mga setter natin eh. Oh, Kayuna, but, si Cap, You know, I Alba. think in that case, the ball got too slippery. Of course, gets wet from uh, the sweat. Nahirapan siyang iset yun. Ooh, lucky one! Luna again was there, but second ball. And this is the biggest lead now at 6, 2014. Jangabi will do the honors for this rally. Over-received. Majoy will set it. Ooh. Underneath the ball. What happened there? Jaivi. Laxina disappointed. <laughs> she was under the ball. That's also an adjustment. While she's um, done a uh, wing position in the past, adjusting from uh, low sets, low quick sets in the middle. You know. Now, really high sets. Timing, the height of the ball. 15, serving 20. Weren't we talking about that earlier? That one hand set. Vintage. They make it look so easy. I was just about <laughs> to say, Anne. She makes it look, so, you know, effortless. The touch by Calf. 21-15. See, Bump sets this one. Fajardo, second now. Good reaction there by Signal. High chance ball. Ivy with a tip. Lunak with the set, Basas with the counter, Dawn with the dive. Lunak again, back to Dakis here. Fardo. Oh! You know, Baron was facing her right side, and no defense was there, but the execution was just poor. Right target, poor execution. I see what you're saying now. Nabitin. But, uh, you know, this gives Signal a chance. Down five, Kayuna and Gonzaga are back. Gonzaga, Meneses, and Dakis. And this should be a good front line, front line yeah? <laughs> Ivy with some power there. Gel reverses to Toby. Connects a signal. Down five. Gel to the hopping Rachel. Check it back. That's a smart play. Great setup by Kayuna to Meneses. They 
need her hand. They do, and that was, that was a great call to set it up in the middle. Minsan kailangan daanin sa bilis. Don't allow the opponent to be able to set up. Wrench brings back Mars and KKD. Sailing out. Lead back to five. We've seen a number of service errors here in this set for both teams. But at this point, of course, not helping signal. F2, just three points shy of closing this set. Signal needs to uh, double up the work. Gonzaga, far from the net. Nina and Gonzaga, of course, coming over from Army. Six point lead. And it's in the hands now of the Pampanga native. Deneses. Oh, look at that hit! <laughs> but you make do with what you get. They just think on the fly, diba? Kanina si Kaf, Kanina si Alba, and si Gel. Set point for F2. Shola Alvarez will come in to serve, most likely. For Majoy. Six set points. Sess had 22 points in the previous match. She's got two only so far. Tough start. Sharp serve. Sent back. Sess again. Makes the adjustment. Two tall blockers right in front of her. I just like the way I'm seeing her jump right now, and it seems like she really is. Her ankles are healthy. And, uh, you know, with the execution as well of the offense, you see that she's in full control. Making those adjustments in midair as they get a block. Maralio. Saving two set points. One more point that you can expect F2 to call a timeout here. Signal needs to be steady at the service line. She could serve. Oh! Cargo Hoovers on a miss set. Jolina De La Cruz, the two rookies, combining and conniving for that set point. We will be back here on Filipinas Live. Back inside the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center, reminding you new streaming experiences also await via the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos a month. Boom Gonzalez, Annie Mulyakanda, Kyla Kinsu, of course, our third member of the coverage team for this F2 Signal HD matchup.
It is 25-20, courtesy of F2 in that first set. All right, talk me through what you saw, Anne. You know, it was a good start for both these teams. We did talk about how uh, fast it was, how fast the plays were, but uh, F2 just really very steady in that first set. They may have committed some errors, but they surely found ways to make up for it. Signal, on the other hand, nakasabay sa defensa, sa offensa. But in the latter part, boom, it seemed like kinulang sila. No? They weren't able to convert um, points in that set. In fact, only two players, the, the highest scorers in the first set was only Molina and Doria, both with three points. Meanwhile, on the side of F2, nandiyan si D scoring six points. Laxina, likewise, also uh, scoring four points. So I think if we are to look at the numbers right now, we see how lopsided it is when it comes to offense. 14 attack points yeah. for F2, only eight here for right. Signal. Nakasabay in terms of net defense, etong uh, Signal, but all the more, even if uh, you look at the overall game, talagang yung point production or delivery in offense is what has been missing. So we did mention the mga veterans and rookies to watch out for on this side. And I guess the expectation coming into the second set is really output, no? Output when it comes to uh, attacks. And, you know, just to mention again for those who are joining us late, Anne, is the fact that Danny Gandler uh, is not in the ball game, not in the arena at all. Uh, she scored eight points in their previous matchup. Very good debut for her for Signal. But big day for her. She graduated today from college. Had an emotional post uh, that uh, went viral. Everybody, you know, uh, started talking about it. And um, obviously, that is the reason why she isn't here. Congratulations to her and her family. Uh, her team right now down one set. At the start of the second, nobody touching that one. So F2 gets the first point of set two. Manessas in the earlier set also delivered two points. But uh, now starting off with that error. Again, we go back to the statistics earlier. It depends on the nakasabay itong signal. We saw how Nunag and the rest of uh, the team no, were able to keep the ball alive. But really, the playmaking and the offense is uh, what they need to focus on here in the second set. Gel to Rachel. Oh, what a slide by Don. Miss hit. Back row, and it's wide. 2 0 for F2. Let's go to Kyla King Sue. I spoke about F2's POG Ivy Laxina earlier. So it's only right for me to share some snippets of my conversation with Signals. Top scorer Cesc Molina before today's game. I asked her what it's like having Job Gonzaga and Jelai Nunag join her in this conference, helping pave the way to solidifying their standing in Pool B. And she shared that there's definitely a much lighter load and less pressure. You know, just a quick fun fact. She told me that they used to cheer happiness last conference, but this time their hashtag is Tulong Tulong Tayo, shifting their focus to teamwork, making their championship dreams rich. Now let's return to enjoying this match, which you can experience better through the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. Now back to you, Buminan. Thank you very much, Kyla. The team you talked about now down three at the start of the second set. Ivy, make that 4-0. Tough start for Signal HD here in set number two. And Coach Shaq will call for time. Secondary reminders there from Rad. After Coach Shaq trying to settle down the girls. You know, he, he was very specific and he did recognize how good the defense is of F2 at this point. Kaya nga ang sabi niya, hindi pwedeng tumigil. Ano? They really need to deliver those points, have more attempts. That is the expectation. And we also heard Dakis, hindi pwedeng mataranta. I think as veterans and, you know, with, with this team intact, they need to have their composure. But they give away a free ball here after that timeout. Kayuna. 
reverses to Joel. Great push. This time Don unable to jump and dive to it. Swine. Nice touch. First point for Signal. Jack Janela comes in for Jelai Lunag. Kayuna will serve. Got a lot of uh, former national team players here and on both squads. Takis. <laughs> <laughs> of signal with the challenge of coach Shaq earlier. Malakas ang defense nila. They need to have more attempts and challenge the defense even more. Got it dig. It's all over the floor. But then again, what's new? Oh, Badon! Squeezing it through the block. Not uh, even a lot of power on that one. Just pure height, reach, and flick of the wrist. Big captain, eh, no? Ano eh, buka yung block ng uh, signal. 5-2. Jell. Challenge ball. Reverse. KKD. Eight points for her. She had nine in the three sets against Farm Fresh. And I did say in the pregame, parang like a first gear pa lang si KKD oh. dun. <laughs> Still uh, warming up. Yeah, 15.8 on the average in the preliminaries in the all Filipino conference for her. She was the leading scorer for F2. Three serving six. human after all yeah. after all the saves that we've seen today <laughs> good serve there by Rad and a good dig two combination Ooh, Jones with a tumble Jones will adjust Jolina set back Signal has done a great job in earning those points. Nothing fancy so far that we've seen from uh, Signal, but they've been steady, they've been consistent. Good reflexes there by Riri. Dawn keeping it up. Ivy will safely send it over. Gel will choose Sess. Back set. What an angle! Nine points! That is a tough angle, and Look at Alba. Also go oh, for yeah. that set. It's a great set. But, you know, also, na late din yung blockers on the side of Signal. Meneses wasn't there, leaving D with just one blocker. Gel reverses. Easy over. Riri asking for it, but they go to Sess. That's legal. Tip. Riri will set it. Sess will send it. Power tip. KKD already over her first game out for now, entering double digit territory.
welcome back to the PBL. Let's take a look at Cesc Molina remembering Riri Meneses' unforgettable moment in their last conference. Yung sa dati nating team, nag-best blocker ka kasi sobrang dami mo na-block. Like mga 10 ata. Taray! Chamba! Well, they're gonna need that today here because F2 has been rolling. KKD leads them with 10 points on 9 attacks. That is a 60% success rate for KKD. We've seen how she tries to vary her offense. Really trying to find ways to make the attempt efficient and, uh, you know, get converted into points. That's out. Really comfortable, really confident, but where they've had quite a number of errors would be at the service line. Depensa is actually doing a good offense likewise. Mars reverses to D again. <laughs> On fire today. Now with 10 points, or 11 rather. On 10 attacks. Nine serving six, second set. Oh. Overreaching call on Maranio. The trench, knots. Point giveaway. The returnee to signal Gonzaga serving. Ah, oh, what a swing by Jolina de la Cruz. F2 with a good distribution of points. Of course, it helps that for F2, They've played the same system. Talking about these uh, girls from DLSU. Yeah. Scrambling both teams are. But it is Signal that gets the point. Courtesy of that kill from Cesc Molina. Four points for her. That started with that tip. You gotta love all the saves yeah. that we are seeing in this Both game. Sides, you're right, man. Such effort. They know that this sprint of a conference is so. You have no time to kind of ease into the conference, and you have to be try to be sharp as soon as you can. But look at that! Now Jolina still able to keep it in play. Joe. You know, the coaching staff of LaSalle was already calling the running play of Signal. They saw it coming. They saw it developing. Blockers of uh, F2 over there as we look at that save from uh, De La Cruz. Look at that, Laxina. One one, yeah. Laxina read it well. 11 serving 8. She's got that look. You know that look, right? <laughs> I do know that look. Yeah. Very familiar with that look. I've been covering that look for quite a while. You and I have... Okay, sama na kita, You and I have been covering that look for quite a while. <laughs> Nine, serving 11. On the side of F2, Dina Umabot si Alba, pabalik ng kanyang puesto, and that is 
making the most out of that. Look at the save. Amazing save. And then... Alba, look at that, trying to go for that block, pero hindi na umabot. Then the reaction, oh, we didn't get the reaction there. Coverage by Jones. Rachel again, this time D saw that one. Power tip. We read, jump set. Timeout F2. Of both teams now getting into it. We expected a good match, and that is what we are getting here in the second set. Now we're gonna get that reaction that we wanted to see. There you go. Eleven all is our score and a chance to go for the lead. They go back to Rod, and she continues to produce. She is on fire. Five points. The fans, Four zero run. The, the fans are loving it. All that emotion, celebration of the point. Well, that's what she is to this team. She is their heart and soul. She is their emotional leader. Luxina, it's too low. Oh no, sorry. I think they're gonna challenge this one. What is the challenge though? Ball in and out or a fourth touch? Oh, it's a ball in and out challenge. I thought they were gonna... On uh, the touch, let's have a look. Yeah, I thought it was on the block. The block touch or the lack of a block touch. But no, it's a ball in and out. Challenge. 12 11. Signal with the lead for the first time here in this set. They were down 0 4 at the start, and they're down a set here. They did lose the first set against Petrogas. This drops in. The great challenge by Kolchak. So that's a two point lead for them. Crucial point. Now they are leading. By two. 13-11. Ooh! Yeah, and it drops at the corner! We're gonna get an Aracala appearance here. That was an excellent target yeah. by Doria. And the fans appreciating. Ara coming in. It goes straight to her. Recoils. She's back. Look at this run from Signal. Seven point run. Aggressive in terms of offense, and even when they're blocking, that was Kayuna getting that block point for signal. You know, it all started with that Rachel and... Sometimes it's what you need. Yeah. Something turning point in a match. And Majori finally stopping the bleeding here with a quick hit. 12-15. So Mars will do the honors here. Get us started. Jay. Kala was there. Mars reverses. That's going to bounce out. Spins 
smart decision by Ara. The angles of uh, Kiana, tremendous. Kim D, very comfortable in that position. Yeah, very. Dawn making the adjustment. That's a 3-0 run, counter run by F2. Sumabet yung Sigo. Oh. Too close to the net. They gotta be careful because they, they uh, managed to take the lead against, F, against F2. You don't wanna play catch up again. Mars. Good dive again, good defense. Kayuna is sent back. Rachel sends it over. Julina with a dig. Kaalan could not. Oh! 16-14 signal in the lead. favorite male volleyball players from around the globe as they battle it out in the Volleyball Nations League here in the Philippines from July 4 to 9. Be part of the game by watching the VNL Live on One Sports and One Sports Plus. We are having a ball though here at the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center. Boom Gonzalez and Ramulia Kanda. F2 versus Signal, the third game of our Saturday Triple Treat. Skyla Kingsu, of course, third member of our broadcast team. And our digging battle between Katindig and Nunag. We've mentioned how well both teams have done in, uh, you know, digging the uh, balls on the floor. But uh, lamang na lamang si Katindig at this point. Chance for F2 to counter. KKD on the left pin. Here in the second set, five over six points. She didn't go the team kanina. Remember that timeout earlier? She was the one who was really. What is working for Signal now? More points coming in yeah. and the people really stepping up. Right. And it's not just one person, but here on the side of F2. Classic. Ganun din. Aragala with just the spot looking at that long ball. Short serve. Dick pass. The leader of the Conte. But it's still alive. Joel cutting it and miss hitting it. The lead is back down to one. Signal still has a strong front line. Dakis has delivered a lot of the points here in the second set. It would be interesting to see how they would maintain and uh, play towards the end of the second set. Nunak on the other side. Chance to tie here for F2. And they go to their money maker. 15 points for K, K, D. She is unstoppable, really finding all ways to get points for F2. Six points in the first, seven points here in the second. And you see the variety and how she attacks the ball, even the angles that she goes for. Oh, this communication there. Do not this time. Dakis. Oh! Six points in the second set. For Rad. Very low on that 
serve. Again, no Vanny Gandler here for the Signal HD Spikers who's coming from her graduation ceremony. <laughs> Myla Pablo was running and trying to get into the match, but the whistle already blew. second set and most definitely in terms of attack points mm. this is much better than the first set for signal <laughs> Coming in for Alba. D will move out for Calf. 19 all. Now they are looking to take over the lead now here. But they will be on defense. Chess. Some power on that kill. And the usual uh, substitution will be seen here on the side of uh, Signal. Yeah, both uh, coaches shuffling for double subs. C and passes in. Oh! Giving a chance here to Signal. Passas goes... Uh, oh, the high hands. Fernandez! It was a clean shot for Fernandez. What a way to boost her confidence. Yan ang uh, tinatawag natin, Malinis. Look at that. No defense right in between the blockers. Splitting. Squeezing. 20 all. What a close second yeah. set. See. Chance here to counter Jolina from behind. And they take over the lead. At a crucial time. And that's why Coach Shackle called time. One good pass muna, one good pass, tapos combination play tayo, cover, cover. In, black lang tayo. Taas mo siya ito. Taas mo ha? Taas mo ha? Taas mo ha? Taas mo ha? The emotion of a single brought them back into this match and gave them a lead. But it's the methodical F2 and execution, I would say, that has given them back this lead at 21-20. On the side of Signal, we heard uh, in the huddle, walang bibitao. They've managed to take the lead. But again, you're right, the good execution on the side of F2 allowed them to steal that lead against Signal. Another chance to counter here. In transition, Fernandez sent back. Balike Joe. Now it's Signal's turn. Sess goes over the blockers. 21 all. We have to appreciate how smart the attackers are on the side of Signal. Really trying to find ways to score the points. Molina just manages to put that at the end line on the court of F2. Seven points for Molina. And another chance here. For Signal, they go to Rachel. And another slide by Katindig. Free ball go. Janela. Level play. I thought they were going to go to Rachel. That was a 
good quick set for Doria. Look yeah. at that. That's what you call feeding the ball. Sabay na sabay, great timing between C and Doria. And great timeout also by Coach Shaq to take over the lead at 22 to 21 after that timeout. Couple of points for them. And Molina continues to serve. Seven points for her on seven attacks. Good first ball. Basas with a dive. Free ball. Sits it play. And the rookie delivering on the swing. What about the trust by Kath here? Repeatedly going to Joe Fernandez here at the tail end of the second set. And Fernandez finding that angle with just a single blocker in front of her. Giving up three more years, I believe, of her eligibility and to play here with F2. Another chance here, 22 all. Balik na naman kay Joe! And she delivers! What a great way to build her confidence. Three points. Taking from where KKD left off. Three points for her all in this set. Twenty-three, twenty-two. Takis continues to go for it and smack the ball. You know, when the ball is given to her, she will try to convert it into a point. Now a crucial part in the second set. We are only in the second set, by the way. 23 all. The starters come back. What a job by Barbara and Fernandez. They're getting a lot of love from the assistant coaches. That's got to be a great feeling for a rookie, huh? Talk about productive minutes. But this is not over. Special for the way Rad is playing. Yes, yes, you said it. <laughs> she ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Nine points for her, eight here in the second. This is such an effective rotation for Signal with Dakis in front. 24 all, we go into an extension. And KKD also. 15 big points in the second set. And you know, for KKD, it doesn't matter where she is. This time, she scores from the middle. Look at this play. Sorry, 15 points in total for her after two sets. Set point and a chance. Back to KKD. Set back. Signal on the counter. Nabitin. Composure here. Takis! And this is another player that delivers all the points. It doesn't matter where she is. And you know, this is not possible if she is not in incredible shape. All these years, she is focused on keeping herself in shape. And that's why she's playing the way she's playing right now. 25 all. Oh, Dela Cruz saw that. What a dig! The dive! The set! The get! Oh! And Signal takes over the lead! What a game! What, what a sound!
talaga. Girls, end game. Ilaban nyo to. Alindahan nyo. Atin ka. Wala lang sila. Iba yung love. Hemp two. Well, this is what we expected, Anne. When we got this, this assignment for this game, we expected no less yep. but an exciting match. Coach uh, Reg earlier with a specific play. Let's see if they can execute that. Good serve. Oh! Jones ball at set point for Signal. Alba pops it up. Tough. They get it back. Jolita. Jones. Mbappé. <laughs> Not for the weak of heart. A true test of uh, character for both these teams, maturity as well. If you're not playing, you're biting your nails. It's got some fifth set vibes and right now. What a serve. Chance here for Signal. 27-26. They go to Sess. Rejected! Abby says no entry! Amazing! Defense for F2. Look at that block. Twenty seven all. It's worth a challenge at this juncture. If you have it, you might as well use it. Crucial one. 27 all. It's got to be the set of the tournament so far, no doubt about it. And you see both teams, a lot of effort. Yung kapet, the end game. Definitely showing here. Yun yung sinasabi ni Coach Dredge. We've had 12 deadlocks and five lead changes here in this second set. And there is a block touch. This is their third set point, actually, already. Two big errors by Gonzaga. Pressure. It gets to everyone. It does. But right now, both teams, as well, going through that pressure. They're going to put a taller Ivy Luxina here because they will be on defense talking about F2, 28 all. De La Cruz, get us going for this rally. Chance ball for F2. Luxina puts it away as they take over the lead. Set point. What a substitution by Coach Ranch. Initially for defense, but she delivers on the own side of things. Exciting second set. 
A bit of pressure on the side of Signal. Over. Oh, and a violation from on Signal. It was an over the scene. They're going to challenge this. I don't know what the challenge is. Might be anticlimactic at this point. But a net touch is what they're going to challenge here. 29. 28. Daki seemed confident in, in actually uh, suggesting that net touch. As if the tension wasn't enough. <laughs> but they do need they do. this they do. to work on their side yeah, to be a on. successful challenge. Or else this will be an F2 point, which will make it 30-28. So a lot of hinges on this one. What if you're Joe Gonzaga, you must in your head right now. It must be an unfamiliar territory for, for her, her, not being able to manage that pressure, committing uh, these crucial mistakes. There's a net touch. It's a yes, but it's on. Kayuna, remember, just shot the challenge this one. The challenge will go the way of F2, which means they are ahead. Two sets to love as the second set finally concludes at 30-28. New streaming experiences also await via the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. We are back after that long and exciting second set. F2 winning 30 to 28 against the Signal HD Spikers. That set lasted 40 minutes, ending with a favorable challenge on the side of F2. Definitely a uh, Tight match where uh, Signal had a few leads, much better offense. We did mention that in the first set, what they were missing was offensive attacks or points from their offense. Overall, a great game for both teams. Defense was maintained coming from the first set. Molina and Daki is really delivering here on the side of Signal. But likewise, on the side of F2, Kim B was on fire. Daki is also showing her leadership. A lot of substitutions that we've seen and really quality minutes for most of the players that have been fielded in for F2. As we take a look at the set two statistics, 30-28, exciting set. Uh, in terms of attack points, this is much more even than what we have seen in the first set. 20 attacks for F2, do make it a signal with 19 blocks, also close, as well as aces. Sayang, ano, because signal was able to minimize um, uh, really the errors below eight, but F2 flawless. Only five points given away in that uh, set for uh, signal. Guess who I saw uh, in the hallway? Who is it? Manny Gandler is warming up. Oh, she is. She what? made it. So we'll, uh, I'm sure, get a report a little later on on that. Let's see if she's warming up 
will she be used is a s different story altogether. Um, I'm sure she was hoping that they got that second set. But right now, the situation is they're down two sets, and just coming off uh, probably the set of the tournament so far, 30-28. And it's not just the length. It wasn't just the points. It was the actual exchanges, you know, the defense and offense that provided the excitement. And putting the errors aside, you know, the quality right. of plays right. that have been delivered, the quality of defense that right. we've seen, not just from the liberos, but likewise the defenders in the back row. So we begin our third set with a KKD attack. Molina from behind. Oh, they're going to call that one. Good shot. There she is. Congratulations again. Obviously, you just cannot go into the game. Uh, and I don't talk about rules here. I'm, they already told us earlier, I clarified with Coach Shaq, that she will be allowed to, to play. But you have to go through your stretches, your warm-up, your activations, and all of that. Definitely. And lumamang na, no? Yung mga kalaro niya in terms of uh, warming up for the game. Yeah, because at, at the end of it, you also have, the, I'm sure, the coaching staff, the, you have to look out for your athlete. And you just cannot send anybody in without the proper protocols and proper warm-ups. And... But definitely a welcome addition uh -huh. for today's match. Especially if she, you know, the way she played the last time out in that win against Petrogas. All right, let's get Kyla King Sue into this conversation. Kyla? Eager to carry their momentum from their first win oh. of this conference. It's really no surprise that both teams are continuing to intensify their level of game. Now, Boomin and earlier, you pointed out that Signal Spark actually started with their captain, Rachel Ann Dacius, who has really been finding her game amidst their tough start. And she told me to rest assured that this version of their team has made sure to study and learn their laxes from the last conference. Now she says it's all about having the proper execution and composure they've been trained to have to turn things around. And as you mentioned, Boom, they might be able to do just that as they have Vanny Gandler already on the sidelines, ready to enter any time. Now let's go back to enjoying this match, which you can experience better on the Pilipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. Now back to you, Boom. Now. Thank you very much, uh, Kyla, for the update and for that report. Well, right now, Signal is in the lead, 3-1. to one. We gotta do it the hard way here. Oh, Don Makadili and Alba. Passas, nobody blocking, but it's still alive. Oh, they're oh, gonna call a double. A the ball was uh, on her hand for too long. That's Erlindo Eusebio, our first referee. And and she, he actually <laughs> wants to talk to her. Coach. Oh, now she's going to call the captain. Yeah, Coach Shaq. I think they're going to warn. Yeah, on the side. Oh, they're going to they're yeah. gonna, gonna call a yellow card. Partly because... Uh, of she the reaction as well. The yeah. reaction then doesn't want to talk to Erlindo mm, mm, yeah. <laughs> when Erlindo was calling her. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to get back into the game. <laughs> parang walang naririnig. Oh, oh parang walang Ay, naririnig. I'm sorry, sir. Di ko naririnig. Uh, gotta focus. <laughs> <laughs> Mga old Andre Mulia tricks. <laughs> <laughs> what? From, for, my, for my parents? <laughs> <laughs> from your parents, you know. Di not, pala from the, not from the game. Uh, <laughs> Molina. Uh, ten points here for her. She leads Signal. Nine from Dakis. Eight in that second set, as we mentioned. You know, I gotta love that report from Kyla earlier where Dakis had mentioned learning. Yeah. And you see how much of a veteran oh! she is as we look at that point. Chelka Yuna had one. Morris Alba had another. Just showing us how uh, they are very much capable. Perfect form. Yes, you were saying about Rad. The report of Kyla did Kyla, mention yeah. learning, right? And right. I, I was just about to say, like, they, these are veterans already we are talking about. Very senior players, really seasoned and experienced, and yet they still do talk about learning. And that's what you gotta love about these players. 
they know that it is constant learning, playing volleyball, no matter how good you are, no matter how much you've achieved. Mm -hmm. And no matter how long you've been playing. Long rally again. Gel reverses the kit. Chance one. 4 3. Molina! That's a great shot by Jelka Yuna. Her body was positioned like she was going to go for the reverse. Look at Jell here. Oh, yes. Last second decides to go to Cess. And Cess delivers her 11th point. The tricks, the, the tricks of, uh, of these setters. Both setters performing very well in today's match. Chin sending it to the net. Four will be serving five, and it will be. There's confusion on who's going to serve. It's Abby Marani. Joe says she saw that. She was looking at that spot even before she made the approach. Excellent target, as usual, for Molina. 6-4. Watching us live and exclusively via the Filipinas Live app. I'd like to welcome all the new subscribers. As this play is still alive, bump set to Rachel. Dive by Jolina. The adjustment by Ivy. Flip doesn't work. Chin from behind. Over. Dakis, and again, KKD saw that. Ivy put something into that. Power tip. Long rally, not the fastest place that, you know, you'd expect from both these teams. Puro adlib na. Puro adlib, gawa ng paraan. But uh, this yeah. drop from Baron, Delivers that point, puts an end to that rally. Really, I mean, lost in the shuffle in the bench already in the last couple of conferences for, for F2, but extensive court time here in this invitational. As Montagoria gets it to 7 5. Looks like uh, Vanny is done with her pre-game activations and stretches and warm-ups. This one's out. A couple of service errors from Basas and Doria. Some uh, welcome free points for uh, F2. Ivy Luxina. And seven points, quietly getting into the seven points already here. Vanessa's with a slide. Katindig with the save. Wow, uh, so <laughs> smart by Jell. Jell was like, thank you for delivering it to me. 8-6, signal.
capture favorite male volleyball players from around the globe as they battle it out in the Volleyball Nations League here in the Philippines. From July 4 to 9, be part of the game by watching the VNL live on One Sports and One Sports Plus. Let's give you an update on the matchup that we talked about at pregame. Maxina versus Molina. Molina delivering double digits, 12 attacks. Uh, Laxina still finding her footing with five points. But, uh, you know, we did talk about how these are the players who really watch out for in this match. But KKD trying to go for that point. Her approach from this opposite side. It's just so aggressive. It looks so good when you're watching live and the form. Yeah. And the uh, whole thing you know, It looks so natural. Yeah, it's it's very different from from different opposite attackers. As they all have their own obviously techniques and styles. Base on your napaka bilis at aggressive. Super athletic. Opposite attacker for F2. Speaking of, not missing a beat. Very athletic Dakis at the service line. Only had three points in the previous win against Petrogas. Today, racking up 10. Jelena. Good reaction there by Janela. Rainbow, chance ball. Alba takes a look. That's in. What a runner. Maranio finally getting that angle. Falling right into the line. That has been a target for her. Was that Kiana? Yeah, it was Kiana who sold it, no? You know, that's why it's very important in, in every play, <clears throat> one of the attackers should get the blocker to commit. Humatak. Good first ball. It's a good choice. By John Cuyuna. Double sub for Coach Rench. Many players getting quality minutes today. To Fernandez. Double. As it is set back by Chin Basas. Going up against her Ates from Signal. Great read by uh, Basas. But that's what she wanted. You did mention, no? Always a good learning experience. Yeah. Cross court. Continues to feed Job, and she continues to gain confidence. Yeah, no magentang bawe coming from uh, a block. You allow her to recover right away. De La Cruz down three, but up two sets. One hand. Mahandili saving with the get. From behind, Rad. Jove again. It's too low this time. Clearly not going to make and clear the net. Lead is four, so Coach Reg wants to talk it over. Tina Wong and the rest of uh, 
Choco Mucho with their second straight win earlier. CC Rondina, player of the game again later, uh, earlier, when they won against the Photon Tornadoes. PLDT and Akari also made their debut here in the Invitationals. And they won over Akari. Uh, Signal trying to mount the comeback here, up five. And Coach uh, Reg asking the team for more energy. Be, uh, to be vocal on the court. They seem to be slower, moving a bit slower here in this set. But of course, Signal taking advantage of that. Oh, Janela. Solid dig. Palikai Ivy. Oh, Janela again, but she couldn't keep it in play this time. Kapalitan ni Anunag. Tuvzatan Liberos. Ivy scoring her eighth point. Oh, what a play. That's a beautiful set from Joe. And a beautiful execution by Molina. No defenders in that angle. And you block her then. Again, it's getting the blockers to commit that worked. For uh, Molina with Doria being the decoy. Molina with 13 points across her name now. Ivy Benita ng Conte. Oh, but somebody scraped the net. Our second referee, Herbert Matematico, is the one who called that. Double up. The starters are back. Mars and D. Biggest lead was five here for Signal. That's out. 16-11, second technical timeout. Inside the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center. Hey, experience a new way to feel the heart of volleyball. Watch every set, spike, dig, and block on any device, anytime, anywhere via Pilipinas Live. Don't forget to download the app now. Now, and subscribe for only 99 pesos a month. 4,000 today. Uh, I believe we had uh, close to 4,000 during opening day. This is day number three, match number nine. What a triple header today. That, uh, they are currently, they have enjoyed and are currently enjoying quality matches in a very short tournament called the PVL Invitational 2023. Nobody behind Riri Manessas for coverage. Baron keeping it simple. Signal, though, still enjoying a four-point lead with Dakis in the front row. She's been leading the scoring for the Signal squad. Sixteen, twelve. Oh, miss hit. And Vanny Gander will make an appearance here for Rachel Andakis. Congratulations for the graduation. Coming all over, uh, coming all the way to here at Volleyball Central. Eight points in the last match. It's also a good time for uh, Rachel to get a little bit of rest. She has really been working hard. Looked like she was uh, cramping a little bit earlier. Sess again looking for that spot, but Dawn was there. Gel. Back to Chin. Mars. 
That's too low for Jelena. Clearly an error for De La Cruz. 17-13. Signal maintaining distance here in this third set. If you miss that second set, boy. Well, you can watch all these games again on the Filipinas Live app. It's been it's an exciting yeah, yeah. match so far. Yep. That's it. Oh, what a power tip. But Coach Shaq is asking for a palm. <laughs> that was, uh, th there was so much force <laughs> in that drop. Wendy. Kennedy actually talking to Coach Shaq here. <laughs> <laughs> But Shaq may have had a case there. Re unable to put it away, but they get the ball back. Gel, Basas, cross court. <laughs> Dunan moves out. Janela comes back in. Gandler will serve. Good cross court attack there by Chin. Fourteen. Good serve. This time she made sure that it was the tip of her fingers guiding that ball. But she has mastered that. We've seen that same play from KKD going for that same spot behind the blockers. But it's the approach really and that sells that. It looks like she's gonna hit the ball, but aggressive, last minute. Yeah. Molina, speaking of aggressive. Oh, that was a beauty. 1915. Got a timeout here. Let's listen in. is our score and it is signal in the lead and F2 ahead two sets to love a lot of them coming from KKD from behind rebound from Molina uh, again spotted by Kiana it's a lot of out of system plays here this one's out Earlier in the huddle, Coach Reg asking the girls to keep their composure. And they did. They pulled off that second set comeback. And no. stayed steady. Mm -hmm. And uh, now, really, the challenge. Signal has been very steady in this set. They've managed to uh, keep the lead. It's the end game now. It's the end of sets. Uh, it's a test to them. Candler. Basas had to adjust. Alba will attack. Oh! It seemed like it was on its way out. Looked like it, yes. And Coach Shaq will call time here as this lead is down to two. Remember, the biggest lead was five. Versus Chevy Tingle and 6.30 p.m. Chuck Moon Show versus 
Five point lead down to two, 19-17. And just making the announcement here inside the venue that again, we are taking a break for the VNL. VNL happens from July 4 to 9. Uh, the PVL will resume with a quadruple header at the Phil Sports Arena July 11. We'll give you the schedule a little later on. Timeout did not work. Abby Barano buries that ball. She's been uh, pretty quiet in the past set, but just really making her presence felt there. Look at that flat ball. No spin on the serve. Marano stares at the spot. Just to emphasize the point, 18-19. Five-point lead has disappeared. Another out-of-system play. And another chance here for F2. Good press on the block. Gel chases, Molina pushes. Alba, Marano with a tip. Good dig there by Doria. Molina squeezes it through the block. Molina not giving up in uh, scoring these points. Cesc Molina with 15 points, built on 15 attacks. She's bending forward, tired from that rally. Gonzaga and C coming back for the double sub for Coach Shaq. Uh, Out, no touch. Too wide for Marano. But Coach Rich will challenge. Lead is two. This on the run and gun attempt of Abby Marano. Another crucial one. And another end game thriller here in the third set. Of course, this third set, this is a set that really matters a lot for Signal. No touch. Clearly no touch in that. Uh... I, I think Coach Reg just called this to stop a rally. Because she's she was as soon as she wasn't even paying attention to the whole thing because I felt that she knew nobody touched that ball. It's just one of those you use it to your advantage and see if you can halt momentum. Chance ball for F2. Down three here. Laxina off the rebound. C goes to Molina. Denied entry. Marano makes up for that earlier error. Abby Marano will go back to the service deck. Bump set to the other side. Oh, Jones will send it over for a free ball. Bad idea. Laxina gaining confidence. Gonzaga, on the other hand, has been quiet here in uh, this match. It does look a little tense, uh, and surprisingly. Those two errors that she had in uh, earlier, no, maybe playing in her head. Very tentative on that play earlier. Molina is blocked. Gonzaga sends it over. Combination play. Candler was there. Doria wasn't ready. That's out now. We are all tied at 21 and Coach Shaq will call time. You see them laughing off that. <laughs> Be thankful she didn't get to touch that. Okay. Okay. Natin. Angat lang. Tao sa takit ay namayos, ha? Okay lang. Close control lang. Okay? Oh, 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 o
Biggest lead of the set was five for Signal. And we are tied again as F2 for the second straight set, trying to come back to win it from behind. This is not the uh, situation Signal wants to be in. They've had a comfortable lead starting off this third set, but slowly but surely, F2 creeping in to tie it at 21. Things may get predictable already for the blockers of F2, so keen to see what Kayuna will do for this, for the last few plays. Good time out by Coach Shaq, and here we are again. 22-21, Molina, though, will move to the back. Candler, Cayuna, and Doria in front. That one is out. The end game we've been looking for. Composure, managing pressure. It will really test these ladies from Signal. Doria. Guiding the ball to a spot. Twenty-three, twenty-two. Nervous and anxious moments here at the end of set three. Good serve. Very good serve. So it goes back to them for a chance to counter. Molina from behind. Oh! Molina delivering the points for Signal. Doesn't matter if she's in the front row or in the back row. 18 big points. Remember, she had 22 in the previous game. But they're going to call for a footfall talking about F2 on the back attack of Cesc Molina. Did you see that in real time, And It didn't look like there was a, a violation there, but yeah, a very important third set, even for F2, who obviously want to finish this in straight sets. On the side of Signal, of course, it's extending into a five-setter. They almost got that second set. Did. Remember, we were at 30-28. The end of that second set, Danny Gambler joining the team here in the third set, straight from her graduation ceremony. This taking a bit longer on the foot float challenge. Here we go. Oh, way, way behind. Maybe one of those again. <laughs> Could be. But we are at match point. Even if that delinga is the next set, yeah. So why not? Set point for signal for the extension. Majoy <laughs> Baron, soft touch, but to a perfect spot. Kalang will come back, and here's Myla Pablo. You can hear the crowd cheering for Coach, their favorites. Coach Reg again gambling. She did a gamble earlier in the uh, second set with Dara Galang at the end, and that paid off. So now, Pablo Leman and Joe Fernandez also, by the way. It's a good serve. Gambler! Cutting dig keeps it in play. Signal asking for a double touch. Makandili again. Kayuna. Molina. Twice Coach Shaq is looking for a double contact. Not given, but they get the point anyway. 25-23. Signal is alive. Sets to one for F2.
Welcome back to our coverage and reminding you there are new streaming experiences that await via the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. 25, 20, 30, 28 for F2. And Signal HD showing some toughness at the end of the third to hang on to a 25 to 23 third set win. All of the sets that we've seen, definitely quality game for both these teams. But I think for Signal in this third set, what has been effective is really the delivery of points. Nasabayan din nila, no? I think what helped also is that inuna nila, nakuha nila yung lamang. They relieved themselves of the pressure of playing catch up with F2. And I guess to add to that, there were less attempts also on the side of F2 in that set. So, nakatulong din yun. But uh, we've been missing some of the players also on the side of uh, Sigma. We've uh, mentioned Molina, Dakis was also there. Gandler already on the court, but uh, still pretty quiet. Worked up, but still pretty quiet. So, a lot to, to look forward to. But what really worked for uh, Signal again is their offense. 17 as opposed to only 12 here for uh, F2. Pantay lang halos lahat, but Signal, kung iisipin mo, no, they still gave away quite a number wow. of points yeah. on the side of F2. And what really went wrong on the side of F2, kinulang yung pagproduce nila ng puntos, which was uh, what worked for them in the previous set. Speaking of puntos, F2 is led by the 18 of KKD. While Molina has racked up 19 points, backed up by the 10 of Dakis. Laxina has 9 for F2. Happy to have you with us here on our coverage on Filipinas Live. One Sports and One Sports Plus, Boom Gonzalez, Andrew Mulia Kanda, Kyla King Su, patrolling Volleyball Central. Welcome to the fourth set. Makandili. Laxina squeezing it through the block. Dakis Hawks struggling with that one. Got some good rest though earlier. Well deserved rest. Was also massaging uh, her calf uh, <laughs> on the bench earlier. I think she was on her way to cramping, like yeah, feeling the cramps. Yeah, so, yeah. Hindi cramps, yeah. I think, but uh, on the way there. F2 will challenge this one. They felt there was a touch. Early challenge here in our fourth set. Yeah, you, it was there was a play earlier where Rachel came down on the net and kind of stretched her calf. So you're right, she was like on the verge of it. And just at that moment, Coach Shaq put in Manny Gander for the first time. Last game before we take that break. Ten days. And then we go into third gear right away with a quadruple header in uh, Phil Sports Arena on the 11th. That's tough to tell even. Was that a touch, yeah? Slightest, slightest touch. One reread. Coco! Coco yun na dali. Pero may touch pa rin. But you know, in, in that case, uh, Laxina was very confident telling the coaching staff that yeah. there was a touch. Even Don, Don was saying. Misreceived no! and a block. 3 0. Let's go to Kyla King Su right now. Now, nobody said that securing win number two in this competitive conference would come easy. And the Signal oh. HD Spikers definitely show the F2 girls that there are no shortcuts to success in that third set. Now, taking you into F2's recent huddle before this set, you could really feel the passion and the determination in all their eyes displaying their urgency to win and finish this once and for all. Now, even by the court side, the F2 bench is actually echoing one call, which is, this is the end game. Walang bibitaw. Now, let's go back to enjoying this match, which you can experience better on the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. Now, thank you, Boominan. Thank you very much, Kyla. I think so. What a big play there by Jack Zanella. Pinballing that one to the corner after that mess. 
Magnificent swing by KKD. Worked to Woo! their advantage. Look at this ball land right at the corner. Good enough for their second point. Rejuvenated after the rest. And uh, no coverage for F2 behind the block. 11 points for, for Rad. Three all. Skirting the net. Janela again. She's there once again. Alba with a dig. Bump set. Ivy soft touch. Gel reverses to Chin. Chin finds the crease. Excellent distribution by Kayuna. Nakapuka. They take over the lead. 4-3. Kayuna. Oh, Manessis made it work. I thought it was too low, and... But uh, these uh, drop balls seem to be working. I thought it was too low for her, but she just finds a way. You cannot choose the balls that get set <laughs> to you. Gagawa ng paraan. Riri Ri doing just that. 5-3. Kayuna, very impressive performance today. Showing her versatility, not just with setting, even with offense. Good first ball. Good block, good reaction by Mars. Chin goes high. Ivy does the same. Another touch, and again it's on. Now Herbert Matematico was the one who called it. Called it on Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> Love the reaction. Oh yeah, there seems you know to be she, that yeah. touch. And she probably did not feel it because of the the, the band. elbow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> on her elbow. <laughs> now that, now that face is going to stay for a week <laughs> on social it. media. How animated she is. <laughs> <laughs> She's still having a little conversation. But they're challenging it anyway. Herbert Matematico, our second referee. Another memeable <laughs> reaction. Well, we got a 10-day break from the PVL, so we might as well feed the machine. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely going to make it. For sure. All right, so they're challenging this that there was no net fault. So mm -hmm. that is their challenge. The call was there was. And, and, and she is still at it. She's still selling the call. <laughs> I love the facial expression, the reaction from uh, Dakis. From this angle. Ooh. It was the band. It was the band. <laughs> Her birthday and Rachel still going out of right now. <laughs> no, she didn't feel it because it was... Because of the yeah. band, yeah. <laughs> Not her skin. Yan yung mga tipong usapan na hindi mayayelo ka rin. That's a good target. All of this that she's doing, and she's still teaching Pilates to clients all over the world, by the way, at different times of the day because of the time zones of her clients. That's why she's in shape. De La Cruz is blocked, but it will sail out. Got clients in Japan, she's got clients in Canada, clients here, of course. Really loves fitness. She's yeah. still at it, huh? Yeah, she's still. 
It's her lifestyle, nga. Sabi it nga, is her lifestyle. her lifestyle. It's a good tip. Passes in mid-air. Getting a lot of great individual performances on both sides here. It's a great adjustment. The coverage for uh, F2 is missing. Ayuda could not keep it in play. Sayang because she was right there, just uh, unable to handle that one. That's the power too of KKD. Who has 20 points in this match. Well, nine in the first game, an average of 16 points in the All-Filipino. There on that swing. Technical timeout signal ahead. Parating na ang FIBA World Cup 2023 sa Signal Pay-Per-View. Mag-avail na early bird offer sa alagang 550 pesos until July 15 para mapanood ang lahat ng games. Commercial free and in high definition. At pwede pang manalo ng authentic Gilas Pilipinas merchandise. Visit Signal.tv for more details. Available din sa mga satellite subscribers. Di ata naniniwala sa akin si Rachel. Totoo yun! Totoo yun! Totoo yun! <laughs> that definitely will be a meme. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three. Back to the action here. Two point lead for Signal. Dig pass. Chance ball. Same dig pass to Jolina. Finds a crack in that wall. This set seems to be building up again for a, a climax at the end. Seven will be serving eight. F2, of course, keeping in mind they cannot relax. It looks like, or it looked like they were going to have a, an easy time after that first set. Signal. Making it really tough on them. Shoot set to the other side. Passas with the get. Kiana from behind. Kayuna. Dak is from behind. Jolina taking that. Yaxina rolls it to the other side. Molina saves it. Makandili. Yaxina with a push. Nunak was there. Longest rally of the match, and it dies on the signal side. What a way that for one point. <laughs> to end uh, uh, that rally. But this is where they gotta be careful. Because Signal, of course, is taking care of their score. Ayo nilang malamangan ng F2. This is an exhausting battle. And you know, the sets they've played are long. They started with 29 minutes in the first set. Mm. The second set lasted 40 minutes, and we've had 34 minutes in mm. the third set. We've seen a lot of long rallies as well. I was talking to Kaila Kitsu prior to what's going on the air, and I said, this is your first game? Well, prepare for a long one. That's what I told her. We knew it was going to be this exciting. <laughs> because you knew the quality of the teams. And again, both of them trying to go for 2-0, and which is so essential and important here in this short tournament. One of the few times we're seeing that uh, reception error on the side of F2. Coming from this floater from Molina. 
Zelina moves out. And I got him back in. <laughs> Ivy adjusts. Targeting the other hand. Alba trying to go for it. Cayuna. Duggies. Maandini was there. Luxina. Nobody. Decider. Stop. Block. Doria and Cayuna. Look at this. Perfect execution on the press of that hand. 11 8 signal. got a few reminders from a coach specific to Laxina pinaalala sa kanya to find other angles there are many angles she can bring the ball to they do have the first ball and they should take advantage of that <laughs> Maranya to Dakis wagging the finger good friends remember we saw them at pregame mm. they were hugging each other but it's competition right now who wants to win it more Nothing personal, all part of the game. Good serve. That's too low. One of a rare attacking error tonight for KKD, who's got 20 points, but she's been stuck there. So actually, she had a couple of points here in this set, rather. 17 attacks, three blocks. Great game. Also has a service ace, by the way. Basas with a get. Makandili. Katindig, rather, with the same. And Laxina scores that one. She seems to like lower sets. Mm, is that what you observe? It seems like uh, she gets better timing there, but maybe so, no? Because now she's uh, played a middle block. It's not ah, so low, but it's just not so high not as the, well. Yeah, oh, not the, not the looping na. set. Molina <laughs> taking it in the chest. Very gentle joust. <laughs> Still alive, Paron. Kayuna. Makandili taking it. Back set. Whoa! Like we said, she has rarely missed here tonight. Ending that long rally with a cross court attack. The approach, the form, the flip, the fold, and the point. 21. We had some great scorers here so far in the tournament. You know, Sapete, Soltones, all over 20. Molina, now D. As Alba gets the ace. Getting uh, lucky with a little bit of uh, help there. As the ball touches the net, goes over. Well, she was the best server of the season 85, the UAP. Majoy to Laxina. 12 all is our score. The block by Majoy. 4 0 run by F2. Baron has been a little bit quiet, but we've seen what she can do with Danny, net defense. Sorry, sorry, partner. Vanny Gambler back in for Dakis. The serving continues. And the run continues. 5-0. Coach Shaq calls time. 
sa number one. Sa number one muna tayo. Medyo nagkaano tayo. Kakaroon tayo ng miscommunication lang doon. Sige, Bani, commit ka lang muna dito. Ha? Pag ka lang dito. Ha? Okay, pag dito yung bola, commit ka muna. Pasa ka muna. Okay. 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 Yes, saka lang ha. Kailang muna natin makareceive. Receive muna tayo first ball, first ball. Okay, go, go, go. Sa pasa lang kayo, malayo pa, malayo pa. Check na! Okay. 14-12 is our score. Mars Alba instigating a 5-0 run here. Great serving. 14 for F2. F2 maximizing all means possible to score points. Good timeout by Coach Shack again. Great execution by Meneses at the middle. Coach Shack always has this knack of calling the right timeouts. Great coaches do, obviously. Coach Ramil, very good at that too. Good serve. A good get by Gala. He makes something out of this. Gandler will take it. D again from the left pin. Good save there. Chance ball. That is out for Eerie. Slicing it too wide. She had a good target. She went for a good angle. It's just that the shorter space, of course, in the middle. Lihis. Of course, you gotta avoid the blockers as well. Sumobra sa Lihis. 15 13. Fourth set. What a battle between these two teams, as expected. Danny. Katindig, very high, Danny with the get, Sess sends it over, Katindig again, pops it to Kiana D, for the cross. Everything is really working for D in this match. 22 big points. You're watching the PVL Invitational 2023 on Pilipinas Live. Chakus Bear on the sidelines for F2. But definitely enjoying this match as they are ahead two sets to 1, 16 to 13. Danny Gander, the first Athenian to join Signal. Yes. Oh. And a good addition at that. She. Uh has been having quite a number of attempts in this set. The drop. Katindig saw it. Galang. Danny again. Alba took it. Very tight set there. Back to Vanny. This time, Chin. KKD again with a tip. Lunak was there. Back to Chin. They're going to allow it. Free ball. Long rally again. We've had a lot of them tonight. Back to Vanny. An exhausting rally ends with a hitting error. And Rachel Andakis will make her return. Tough, you know. Well, for her, to not being able to go through your normal routine, Coming into the third set, that, that's got to be tough. 
in a way there's more energy but just the mm. same way the others are more warmed up more into the game already it's like you're constantly catching up 17-13. Great. Chin. Chin Passos has been productive off the bench with seven points. And these points off the block, it continues for F2. They are unable to pick up the balls. No block coverage. 14 serving 17. Over received. Sess was asking for it. That's why. Very effective attacker. Molina continues to deliver. Deliver 21 points to be exact. Oh! Was there a check there? There seemed to be a check. Our linesman has called a check. On Dakis, Erlindo Eusebio checking with the linesman. They're going to award the point. Dakis not complaining. On this side. Tough to call. But it looked like... No complaint. No evil eye. <laughs> oh, now these errors, violations rather, not having the cross of signal as uh, Daki is clarifying with our uh, first referee. But it was Herbert Matematico, our second referee, who called it. So that's why Erlindo is calling him. So, the call will stick. And you see the disappointment in the face of uh, Dakis, but still reminds the team that okay lang, bawi tayo. We're down four, so call, uh, Coach Shaq calls timeout. Okay. Tagayin lang natin. Ha? Kailangan yung goal natin wag mawawala. Pero dapat, ngayon, nakafocus tayo kung anong kailangan gawin. Ito lang. Huwag nyo ibigay ng ganyan lang yan. Ha? Ha? Hindi, hindi, hindi ganun tayo nag-prepare. Nilaban natin to ha? Tagayin natin, ha? Diba? 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 One point at a time lang. One point at a time, ha? Some errors creeping in on the signal side. Giving a four-point lead back to F2. They're a set away, six points away to be exact, from taking their second win in the tournament. Combination. Ooh, Ivy with a good take. Kalam on the offensive approach. No touch. That's a signal point. They wanted to challenge, but Coach Regine, I think, vetoed. Well, they still have the lead at the moment. 19-16. Yes, it's still at three. Another touch on the net and another error, another point given away to F2 by Signal. It's raining violations on the side of Signal. Too eager. At the net, at the momentum going towards the net for Doria. And now, Joe Fernandez and Kim Fajardo back here for F2, looking for the finishers. Basas receiving. Chance here for F2, up four. What an angle by Galang. Dug up by Katindig. 
Fernandez. That's out. That was the right angle of the target, but the execution was too long there for Fernandez. It's gonna be challenged though. confused on the challenge whether it was a block touch or a ball in ball out so they put up both cards so now it's a ball in and out challenge 2016 here in set number four in front of over 4,000 people on capacity here at the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center Earlier today, PLDT winning over Akari. Both teams debuting, so everybody has seen action already in both Pool A and Pool B. Chocomucho winning over the Photon Tornadoes for their second straight win. And that's what both teams are looking for here. Two straight wins to start off the Invitational. Then we take a break for 10 days. Come back on the 11th for a quadruple header at the Phil Sports Arena. In the meantime, waiting for the result of this challenge. 2016 is our score. Signal has been playing catch up here in set number four. Coach Shap. Oh, as the ball is out. So that signal point. Tokoso will come in for the very first time for Coach Shaq. C also coming back. Seventeen serving twenty. Coach Shaq very active at the sideline, giving reminders. This is a crucial set for them. Fernandez is checked. Excellent blocking there by Doria. Alba and D will come back here as the lead is down to two. This was 2015. Earlier, we are at a 3 0 run. By signal. Eighteen serving twenty. Alba up to Galang. Galang over the blockers. That's gonna sail out. A good read on the side of F2. Fatigue may also uh, mm. you know, be a factor already. We're only on our fourth set, but remember, most of the sets that these ladies have played have been quite long. Very long. Oh, that looks like it was going to go out. So a chance ball instead for F2. Good reaction by Molina. Wow. Signal unable to take advantage of the missed set. They have a chance now. They open to Troncoso, who goes cross. What a great way for Troncoso to score the point. Over the block and right at the corner. 19 serving 21. Makandili stopping that ball. Takis gets one back from a rival. When it matters the most, signal delivering. Sabi ni Coach Shaq, wag niyo lang ibibigay itong game na to. And another great timeout by Coach Shaq. It's aggressive in getting a point. Understand the end game. Konting-konti na lang yan.
reminders. Coach Reg on the rookie setter. Their playmaker. Yeah. Getting some reminders. Signal on a 5 2 run here. They're now behind just a point again. End set execution for both teams. Abby gets it back. I thought that set was going nowhere. Or that, that play, rather. But that Abby's still going for it. 22 20. For both teams, end game is what both coaches are looking for. Bump set to Rachel. She's checked. Trocoso goes high. Baron gets it back. Ivy. That's in. Joust. Douglas. What an exchange. Luxina. C. Back set. Dug up and a chance ball for Signal. C. Sagitna. And a touch at the net called by Herbert Matematico. Signal point. Great effort from both teams, but usually in rallies like. Please look at that. Baron touching the net. Well, the, 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 the whistle was drowned out by the shrieking of the crowd. And why not? It has been uh, such an exciting exchange. Oh, what a match. Laxina again, targeting the left hand of Riri. Maintaining a two-point lead, 23-21. Alba delivering. Another out-of-system play. Laxina. Oh! Match point! That's a low five from Coach Reds. Laxina has been scoring off the blocks of Signal. 13 points for Laxina. That was her output in the previous match, in the previous win, too. Match point, three of them. Tokoso gets one back. It saves one. Now Shaq puts in Basas and Cayuna for this last chase. Cayuna will serve, which means she has a full front line of Basas, Dakis, and Meneses, but they will be on defense first. One more point for F2. Alba to D. Check that, Laxina, rather. Basas. Cross court. What a get there by Janela, but a chance ball for F2 at match point. D. The rebound. Bump set to Dakis. Rejected. And that's it. Send off the BBL fans into this 10-day break. You know, even if uh, Signal lost this game today, it
it was definitely well fought. Look, just look at the score. Look at the amount of time <laughs> they spent playing each set. Uh, you don't have to tell me about time. <laughs> 29 minutes, 40 minutes, 34 and 37. F2 winning in four sets to complete the triple header today. Oh boy. And again, in this sprint of a conference, the Invitationals, to win two straight and to start 2-0 is a huge deal for any team. Relive this game and all BBL games and stories anytime, anywhere on the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. Kyla Kingsu is with our player of the game, KKD. Here with me is KKD, our player of this match with 23 points. Now, una una big congratulations to you for securing your second win of this conference. What a game today with four sets. So, Kiana with Myla Pablo dealing with lots of injuries at the last conference. You became one of the biggest reasons why F2 was able to reach the semifinals. So, what were your key preparations in the past month that allowed you to keep up your performance and put on a great show today? that uh, all the teams step up so we also have to step up double double effort pa sa training and then since may mga bago sa loob we have to guide them also so continue lang sa next games so let's talk about job fernandez what can you say about the spark that she brought off the bench you know filling in for your role you know job is the best opposite in the uaab so she's really a great addition to team kahit bata siya, she really boosts us so that's a good um that's good for our team now, those were very long and intense four sets, to say the least. So, how do you think your team was able to, you know, keep the composure and pull off that win? Well, we all know Signal is a strong team also, so we have to um, double effort pa. And since, yun nga, mahaba yung rally, kailangan patay agad. So, is there anyone you want to greet? Go ahead. I uh, just want to greet um, the F2 supporters, F2 boss, and... My family, thank you for watching and please continue to support us our remaining games, Damon. There you have it, that was KKD, our player of the game. Congrats once again to you and to F2. Now back to you, Boominan. Thank you very much, Kyla. You know, I think she was listening to our pregame when we said, ah, oh, she was just in first gear, nine points. Today, 23 leading all scorers in this F2 win. Let's look at the match summary and what stands out, what pops out to you. You know, such a close match today. Attacks, blocking, aces, all, all almost in the same range. But uh, I guess, dito lubamang lang ng kote signal really had more errors uh, in this match. But energy wise, and we saw how much they really fought for it. Yung end game na hinanap na mga coaches, nakita natin yan na lubabas in the last two sets. Signal in many instances really was in this game just really could not hold on in the end. So they go down one and one, and F2 will go two and oh. In the meantime, we did mention quadruple header when we return July 11 at the Field Sports Arena in Pasig City. Petrogas Angels will go up against the Farm Fresh Foxies, while the Signal HD Spikers will have to think about this loss for 10 days, and they'll go up against a Photon tornadoes that is the morning sessions and then we get to the afternoon sessions which bleed into the evening the akari chargers and the cherry kigo crossovers Ooh, faith and Aya once again going up against each other this time as professionals and the two teams that will be coming into that match at two and oh oh that should be good the choco mucho flying titans and the f2